Hello from Helsinki, Finland. Hello. <laughs> Today we went to the new library of Helsinki, the best in the world. so proud of Helsinki right now. <laughs> Seriously, I've been waiting to make a tour of this library for a while, <laughs> so I will go into details. <laughs> architectural competition which was uh, won by a Finnish company called Ala Architects and uh, the cost of the construction was 98 million euros. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money but you can actually see it in this building like that just incredible. Yeah like how it's made like the structure is like so different from all the other like buildings around it like which looks like a box and that one is just the shape of it is incredible. Yeah, it really stands like, out. It yeah. Does. So it's located in the center of Helsinki on the uh, name of the square. It's Kansala story. So on the square we can see this Audi library. Then there is uh, Finlandia Talo, which yeah. is Finlandia Hall, and then there is uh, Helsinki uh, Music Center. You can see the Parliament, and then you can see Kiasma Modern Art Museum. So also, uh, I think nowadays they call Audi Library as a living room of residents of Helsinki. But honestly, you don't need to be a resident to enjoy it. So, the library consists basically of uh, three levels. On the first level, there is a very nice cafe. Uh, it's a Matze cafe actually, they also serve a lunch. And uh, uh, so there is a cafe, then there is a big cinema, then there is a, like a conference room. You can uh, go with the presentations. Uh, then, then just a big hall and a shop. On the second floor, okay, the second floor is the most unusual thing I ever seen in my life. Yeah, like you come out of, of the elevator or by the stairs. There is all those things you can do, like going to play a PlayStation. You can even go book a studio for recording yeah, music. So cool. Like there is equipment for it, and there is also places where you can book a time and you can go practice playing some instrument. Yeah. Or then you can book a small meeting room. You can go like have a meeting there if, like for example, you have a meeting with a, some business friend or something. And uh, also all these 3D printers and like, I, was, I don't even remember what's yeah. everything that is. Well, actually, about the music, the side note, 
with your library card you can loan a guitar for example not just the box really? yeah you can you can load a musical instrument there and take it with you like how cool is that <laughs> and uh, then uh, yeah it says on actually in the website of the library that you can do the whole production of your music so they have all the necessary rooms to make the whole like a music production there mm -hmm. yeah so they were sewing machines then they were uh, this plotter these huge printers they had uh, some this uh, laser engraving machine, uh, well, a bunch of computers, a bunch of uh, these uh, planchets to read books and uh, just browse. Then, of course, there is like a big sitting area with the outlets and the internet connection, so you can come there to work, do your own thing. Like if you're in a city and you have a time and you don't know where to go, you don't have to go to coffee house. You just go to the library. Yeah, but you can also take the coffee. That was the first time for me to be there, and like I was just amazed that it's even a life, like called a library, because like there is so much things you can do. The third floor is actual, uh, like a library room with yeah. the books, with actual. Books. There are books as well. Yeah, and that is just like a playroom for families. Honestly, yeah. like half of this library is occupied by the kids' books, and then there is a, a soft play area, there is a carpet with some toys there where the kids can play, there is like even the designated parking area for carriages. It's very family oriented, like it's it's amazing how it's built, like so very, very modern by the design but still mm -hmm. very practical for like people to actually use it. And you can just read all those books on the spot, you don't need to have a library card for that, so if you're just visiting Helsinki you can go and enjoy yourself there. Basically, when we went there, we forgot our library cards, both of us. It's not just a library where you go read a book or like loan it out. Yeah. You can actually do a lot more in there. And there you can find the books in all kinds of languages. And if you there is not a book which you want, I think you can even order and they will bring it. Like, you can order, they will buy it for the library. And I saw books in English, I saw books. Finnish, for sure. <laughs> there are books in Russian language, then there are books in Swedish, I think there are books in Arabic language. Like, there are so many, I mean, just the kids' books. Like, I don't even like cover the adults like a section. There is a lot of adults, of course. Yeah, we didn't have time to go through all the rows to check like what, yeah. what is there. But... It's a beautiful terrace as well. Okay, now maybe it's a bit too cold to use it, but... Yeah, it's at this time of the year. In the summer, I guess it was really nice. So yeah, all in all, that just an incredible building and the architecture is so unique and so beautiful and it fits to the square so well, it's kind of like really frames the square now. They renewed also the like, exterior, like well, the, the whole square, like there is now a playground for kids and then there is mm -hmm. some basketball field, was there like yeah. a small one. Like, yeah, Shabby like, really enjoyed the playground. Yeah, and also it, like it's all paved and like really looks nice. Yeah. So it's a good place to go hang out, especially in the summer. Yeah, but honestly, like in the winter, like if you wanna be, if you wanna have some activity indoors with it, your family, yeah. that's like a super fun place to go. Doesn't matter the age of the child because no. you can either be in the soft play or you can book a room to go play PlayStation with your child. Yeah. Like the idea is that. So I think that what Helsinki is trying to do nowadays is that you don't have to own everything because, okay, you have a sewing machine at home, maybe you use it two times a year when you need to fix some clothes or you have some project in mind. So instead of buying this whole machine which is going to be just dusting on your shelf, you go to the library and you do the work there. So like it saves the materials, there is less like uh, this carbon footprint, you know, there's the whole kind of like minimalistic and ecological idea and all these facilities, that's kind of because it's for everybody and you can book all those things uh, for their website. You just log in with your uh, library card and you can just book it. Yeah, I think you can also book it like when you go actually there uh, with probably the yes. personal. Yeah, probably as well, you can do it like that. Thank so, you so much for watching. Thank you. See you and uh, see you next Sunday, 8 o'clock. Stay tuned. Whoop. <laughs>